Avery Endo from Off the Deep Edge Warm Water Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying one of my new flies called the Sonic Boom. It's, uh, as I call the fly, that broke the sound barrier. It's a little spinner fly designed for bluegill and crappie, but it'll catch you just about anything that swims. And it's tied on a size 4 90 degree jig hook. Put that in your vise. Um, I typically use mono thread as my favorite. It's a six thousandths mono thread. Just build up a little base, bring it back to the eye of the hook. And the first thing I'm going to have to put on is the weight, which is a little extra small dumbbell lead eye. And the thing about this, it's going to be put up in front of the hook. It's not going to be on top of the shank, it's actually going to be in front because it acts as a counterbalance. Because this fly, once in the water, will hang horizontal because the weight in the front balances the body. It doesn't tail head down or tail down, it hangs like this in the water. So to do that, just take the weight, put it right up against the stem of the hook. It's hard to see this, I know. And I put three wraps on it and then tie it off to the shank. And it's Get it kind of lined up where you want it now. And tie it off. And you see it's up on front there. I want to pull it down. I want it to look like that the shank of the hook is going right through the middle of the dumbbell eyes. Put some X wraps back and forth. Line it up. Like that. And you can see it's tied up in front. Turn the hook over. Next thing you need to do is you're going to be adding, as you can see the spinner is on this wire loop. To add that wire loop, what we're using is 30 pound titanium saltwater leader material. I'm going to go down to the table here. I want to make a two and a half inch piece out of this. What I did was I cut a piece of copper tubing to two and a half inches so I can always do this quick. All I do, stick the wire in the tubing. I know that's two and a half inches. Snip that off. There you go, two and a half inch piece of wire. C coming back up to the fly. I'm gonna wanna tie this to the top of the shank right underneath the barb. I want the back end of it to be even with the barb. Hold it in place, wrap that down, that stays up on top. And to this end, we're gonna add the spinner blade, which again is a Indiana size zero blade. To put this on, first thing I do is get myself a, if I can get hold of it here. It's running away from me, there we go. This is a size one split ring. I want to get it in my pliers here that I can just see the opening is right here on top. And from there, I'm going to put that down to the table. I'm going to grab the blade. And with the blade, I'm going to use the blade almost like a pry bar to open up. So just like that, just one quick move and wham, it's in there and it's holding the split ring open. Because you're holding it open, you want to put the swivel on there. Helps if you have some fingernails. Okay, now you put the swivel into the opening and just twist the thing around until they all come connected. Just that easy. Then this goes on. Yeah. To the wire. Okay, just thread that on. Take your wire, turn it around, bring the, the second end right back to the first end. Make sure you're up on top of the hook. Get those two ends even. Tie them down. So what you got is a loop with a spinner on it. 
<laughs> okay, next thing. We're going to add some flash. We're going to use just some standard crystal flash. Want to get two pieces if I can. One, two. Okay. Take two pieces, fold them in half, making four pieces. Of course. Take those, cut the ends. One, two. And those I'm going to wrap around the hook, even them up. Just tie them down the length of the fly. To, again, right over the barb. Everything's going to be tied to the back end, right over the barb. You know, if you do that with other hands, you can probably make pretty your flies. Yeah. And the next step is going to put on a tail, which is silly legs. It's uh, seven strands of silly legs. I'm going to cut these to two inches in length. I'm going to bring it down to the table. Uh, just line them up there. There, two inches in length, and these I want to, if I can, fold them in half, and about oh an eighth of an inch behind the weight. I want to attach them to the top side of the shank. I want them to stay on top of the hook here. Wrap them back down. Don't put too much pressure because when I get to the back end here, I don't want to put enough pressure. I don't want to do this that they flare out. I want them to stay flat. So just light pressure here in the back and tighten as I come forward. So you got the legs are nice and flat like that. Uh, so I don't forget at this point I'll trim the crystal flash about a half inch longer than the silly legs. And for that next I need to put in the ribbing which is a medium wire again just at the head tie it down the length of the back come back cut it about six inches in length and the next thing we need which is going to be the lateral line on the fish it's just some uh, lateral scale mylar get a full length piece Tied along the side of the hook. So I gotta go, whoop, gotta get the stay. There we go. Tie it down the side of the hook again to just over the barb. So there it is. Then I'm gonna turn it to the other side and I'm gonna loop it back. Cut off that loop here. And tie it down this side of the hook. So what I have is a loop like this. Then to add the body, this is medium uh, chenille, woolly bugger chenille. It's got a little bit of flash to it in the chenille. I want to tie this in at the back of the hook. Again, to right over the barb there. Bring my thread forward. Put a half hitch to hold it out of the way. Put it in my cradle. Yep. Get that back here, get everybody out of it. Now I want to just palmer this forward, make sure all the legs, everybody's staying under on the bottom side of the hook there. And palmer this forward so you get to the dumbbell eyes. This is a two-tone fly, this one. You don't have to make it two-tone, but on a two-tone, I come to the eyes, then I'll back it up three rotations. One, two, three. And a, on a two-tone fly is what I, I'll do it this way. And tie this one off on the bottom side of the fly there. Just a couple of wraps, holds it in place. Cut that material off. I'm bringing the second one, which again is a woolly bugger chenille. This one, chartreuse, on the bottom side of the fly, right into where I cut off the other one. Put in a loop, hold it in place. Come on. There you go. Now fill in that space. There's one, two, there's the third. 
tie this one off right behind the dumbbell. Just a couple of wraps, all it takes. And cut that out. Now we're going to want to bring this loop we have. Just put my bobbin through it so I can pull it forward. So the reason for the loop is this way I can pull both sides that's coming down the ladder on the side. I can hold both ends easily with one hand. So now I pull it forward so you can see it's coming straight down the middle of the eye and I got my silver wire and I'll make five wraps. There's one, there's two, three, four, and the fifth one should be right at the eyes. And if I held that right, it should be nice and flat there. Okay, got that. Tie it off with three or four wraps. And you can cut off what's left of the lateral line and of the wire. Now we're almost home free. Now to get the spinner is supposed to be under the fly. So to get that underneath, what we're going to do is turn this over and we're going to bring the thread show it sideways, you can probably see it better. We're going to bring it on the wire. I want to post this wire. I want to pull the two ends, I don't think so, together. And I'm going to make about oh, 10 or 12 wraps down the wire and then back down and bring the thread behind the dumbbell eye, grab the wire, and pull it back up over the fly. Now I'm going to make X wraps coming from the back to the front, you know, from left side to right side, one, two, three, change sides, back to front, one, two, three, behind the dumbbell. Now I want this to stay at about a 45 degree angle, this wire, so now I'll just make semi-loose wraps, kind of holding it in place at that angle, about a half a dozen or so, and then X wraps from front to back. There's one, two this way, and this side, one, two that way, then again come behind the dumbbell. You can see the blade is staying at that 45 degree angle. I'm going to put a couple of half hitches, come behind the blade, one half hitch, behind the blade, two half hitch, and three. Cut that off. Last step, get yourself some head cement, Sally Hansen hard as nails, whatever, and liberally coat those threads. Now that ain't going anywhere. And there you go, the sonic boom.